Alright, what's up everybody? This is Seb the Web with another Flatstone video tutorial. And the first one in our nice little yurt. This is our place where we are working now. And um, let me see to adjust the screen. I'm going to show you today how to create this cookie notice bar that you can see here on the bottom. And it's an important one because if you want to comply to the GDPR rules, um, you want to have this uh, notice bar where people need to accept that their cookies and their privacy, um, that their cookies will be tracked and that uh, they need to comply with the privacy rules. So, um, and as you can see, maybe you're familiar already with the default cookie notice bar from Flatsome. And it looks something like this. As you can see, it has like a full width bottom bar that I personally, um, well, I just tried to improve it with some custom CSS. So I will also show you in this video tutorial how to create something like this. So it's a nice little pop-up that is um, much more elegant, I would say, than the full width bottom bar. Um, if you're watching this video on YouTube, uh, make sure you visit the documentation link below and it will take you to our member area where you can find the code for the CSS, as you can see, um, that we will be using uh, in a couple of minutes. So let's get started and I'm gonna show you how to activate first the uh, notice bar. Going to Flatsome here, this is our own website that I will uh, take as a test case to activate the notice bar. Uh, going to Flatsome theme options and then down below it's called notifications. And I'm just gonna click on it. And here you can find here on the left to that you can check the enable cookie notice bar and with when you're doing this you will see that the notice bar will be activated uh, it takes a few seconds to load and that will, will be pop up here down below um, i already put in some text so custom cookie text that will be displayed here and here you can find the privacy policy page so let's say you created a page with all your privacy policy information you can link to that page and give more info so I have a terms and condition page that I will use now. And as you can see here um, down below, you also you will also get the more info button next to the accept button that will take you to the terms and condition page in this case. Uh, here you can set the style so you can also change it to outline, for example, or underline. I personally like the default settings uh, so people can really see that they need to accept to get a better experience. Um, you can also change the background color of the, the full background bar here down below. I'm going to keep it white. Uh, and here you can see the versioning, uh, meaning that um, you can... Um, how can I explain? So let's say you have a lot of people that already accepted your privacy policy, but you maybe updated the privacy and your terms and conditions, and now you want to let them accept it again because the, the information is different than before. So then you can upgrade or, you know, put an extra, uh, how do you say, just make it three or four, you know, just increase the number and then it will be showed again to all the people that are already accepted it before. Hope that makes sense. Sense. I'm going to keep it at two. I'm going to publish now. And as you can see, opening up the page. Here you go. It looks something like this and like i said in the beginning we're gonna of course improve this because uh, that's what we like to do customize as much as possible and here you have a little bit of css that will uh, improve the styling so just select it all here we go and then you need to add this to your uh, css inside your wordpress going to wordpress and there are different places to add custom css for this tutorial i will just go to flat some advanced going to the custom CSS section and then paste it in here, here as you can see. So what it does, it will fit the content, meaning that it will uh, change the box size regarding to the content that is inside. It will get a nice border radius. I even give it like a little margin on the bottom. So if you're familiar with CSS, it will make sense, else just um, it's already done for you. So probably it should work. And if it doesn't, if you have questions, you can leave your, you know, your comments below on our member area and we will update the source code. So once you have done this, save all changes. And then when you are refreshing the page, 
it will look something like this. So much better, much cleaner, small and elegant. So that's it, guys. That's um, that's my little tutorial on the cookie notice bar. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up on YouTube and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is going to be one of the videos in the basic playlist uh, explaining you all the basics uh, on uh, Flatsum. So also make sure you visit the member area because we're updating more videos along the way. And also make sure you visit our website because we are selling pre-made designs for Flatsum. So if you need, if you're in need of a pre-made design to kickstart your Flatsum project, you can now buy uh, designs that we have created for you. All right. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.